G'day, I'm Aidan from KDEC and we're going to go through the process to reconnect your Fronius Simo or Primo inverter to your home Wi-Fi network. So over at our inverter, the first thing we need to do is activate the inverter's Wi-Fi access point. This will allow us to connect our device to the inverter and get it all set up. So we'll need to push the third button from the left here once. That's going to bring us into our menus. We come across we get to the settings, the spanner and the screwdriver. The button on the far right is our enter button, so we go in here, scroll down to the Wi-Fi access point, enter into that. You say It should say activate Wi-Fi access point question mark, and we want to just press enter. After a minute, there we go. So now we know our Wi-Fi access point is active, and we can go over to our smart device and find and connect to that network. All right, here we are with our smart device. We'll be using an iPad, but you can use your phone or a laptop. Now we need to connect to the inverter's access point that we've just started up. This is gonna look like a Wi-Fi network. So we'll navigate to settings and we're already in Wi-Fi, but we'd go to Wi-Fi. And we should see a network called Fronius 240. Dot, and then um, just with a number after that. That's the network that we're after. So we'll click on that. Our password is going to be 12345678, so we'll enter that in. Hit enter. Wait to see that we've connected successfully, which we have. Lovely. So now we need to head back out and open up a browser. We'll be using Safari, but Google Chrome will work just as well. Go up to your search bar, your URL bar up the top here, and we need to go to the IP address. 192.168.250.181. So I'll go ahead and enter that in. Lovely. And enter. This will bring up our inverter's home screen. You can see we get some general information. On the right hand side, we have a list of different menu options. We want to navigate to settings. That'll bring us up into our general settings. On the left hand side, you can see we now have another list of options. We want to go to network. Now we want to make sure here that we have internet via WLAN selected. And we scroll down and we should see a list of available networks. If you can't see your home network appearing here, you can hit the little refresh button and it should hopefully bring it up. We're going to go ahead and select KDEC HQ. After you've clicked on the network you want, you need to hit the little set button here. This will bring up where we can input our password. And this is just your, your network's password, whatever your home internet password is. that. All right, lovely. Now, after we've done that, you need to make sure that you come back up to the top of your network interfaces and select this tick. That will save your changes. If we don't do that, our changes won't save. Lovely. And once you've done that, your inverter will automatically close its access point. If you're having difficulty with this IP address and it's not loading up, uh, a good thing you can do is to navigate back into your device's settings and make sure you switch off your mobile data. That can get in the way of the Wi-Fi access point. But once you've followed that process, you should be all connected to your home network and your inverter should be online.